Hi, my name is Silvia Ferraboli, and I was a visiting scholar at Yale during the months of January, February, and March this year, 2023, at the Macmillan Center Council on Middle East Studies. Um, I, during the period that I was at Yale, I was focusing on developing my research on teaching and learning international relations of uh, the Arab world through the lenses of uh, critical pedagogy studies, particularly through the lenses or the eyes of uh, Paulo Freire. Uh, being at EIO was uh, an amazing experience to me uh, for two things particularly. The first one was because Yale is um, located uh, at a very uh, small and quiet city. This means that you were not, this, I was not distracted by other things that would have distracted me if I were, for example, in New York or in Washington. So uh, this means that uh, I, I was able to fully focus on my research. But also, uh, Yale uh, balances this New Haven's quietness by offering a very stimulating intellectual environment where you can uh, meet scholars from all over the world that go there to give a talk or to, uh, to, to participate in, in, in a program like a visiting scholar. So um, uh, this uh, uh, made uh, uh, my time at Yale uh, a mix it of uh, the necessary quietness for me to develop my research and also uh, gave me the opportunity to be in an intellectually stimulating environment where I could, uh, you know, thrive, <laughs> intellectually speaking. It was really uh, good. I finished a paper that I had started like two years ago. I finished a uh, important book proposal uh, of a manuscript that I am very proud of being developing. So um, it, was, it, was, it was a great experience and I am very much thankful for the Brazilian Ministry of Education and the CAPES Print Program, an internationalization program uh, from my university in partnership with uh, this foundation, the CAPES Foundation under the Brazilian Ministry of Education that uh, fully funded my time uh, at Yale. Uh, it's important to mention that uh, these scholarships are available for scholars all over Brazil through their specific print programs, uh, my case at the Federal University of Rio Grande do Sul, but other scholars from uh, universities in Sao Paulo or Rio or Sergipe or Amazon or Belo Horizonte, I don't know. It's just to say that uh, Yale perhaps should, uh, especially the council, uh, the Macmillan Center, perhaps uh, could make, uh, make an effort uh, to attract more scholars, Brazilian scholars to spend some time there because it's worth, it's, it's worth for, for both the sides. Uh, it, it's it's good for us to have it, the opportunity to be at Yale, but it's good, perhaps better, for Yale to have scholars like us there, because we bring our eyes and our perceptions from the global south, and these can really balance some of the northern, uh, western centric perceptions that we of course, we always find at elite universities in North America. And for this, we also have a two-week program, visiting scholar program in our university that fully fund um, scholars from elite universities to spend uh, these two weeks at our university uh, to teach, to learn, and to develop their research and to get in touch with the, the best that is produced uh, today on the Global South in Brazil uh, regarding international relations, international politics, and international strategic studies. So you are more than welcome to apply to these scholarships and it would be really nice if it is time that I spent at Yale 
uh, could be just the beginning of uh, a deeper and wider uh, partnership between our two institutions. Thank you.